Betfred League One moves on to its 16th round at the New River Stadium as the London Scholars host Cornwall RLFC with the home side propping up the rest in the division and without a win to their name in 2023 for Cornwall. They'll be looking to double their tally with their solitary victory coming against the Scholars at the Memorial Ground back in March. The home side are boosted by a return this week of influential scrum half Phil Lyon, but their captain Jerome Small misses out due to suspension for Cornwall. They've been hampered by the late withdrawal due to a sickness bug of Cameron Brown. Morgan Punchard, a recent signing from Hunslet, starts in the halves alongside Adam Ruslin, who's back to full fitness. The team's captain by Liam Witten. There's also a debut for Sean Croston in the centre and Nathan Newbound at prop. Jaden Barraclough, Ewan Badham, Yian Badham and Kane Demek make up the interchanges for Cornwall with Callum Abbott named as the 18th man. Last tackle for London. Will Phil Lyon go aerial? No. He's gone all along the ground. Well watched by Liam Witten, who will bring the ball out of the 10 metres zone. But he's tackled well by Wellins and Liam O'Callaghan, the loose forward. He's George Mitchell. Well, first carry for Mitchell. Penryn, born and bred, missed the last six weeks with a hamstring injury, playing on the wing this afternoon. Tom Ashton now. Tom Ashton forces O'Callaghan and Jerome Yates back. Remember, Ashton scored a hat-trick on this ground last year for his former club, Rochdale Hornets. There's Adam Ruslin. Back to full fitness, and he'll need to be at his brilliant best this afternoon as Cameron Brown is missing. Good passage of play there for Cornwall. Lloyd linking with Newbound. And Morgan Punchard involved. Newbound making his Cornwall debut after joining on loan from Hunslet. And Ruslin will go aerial now. This will be a tester for Jacob Thomas. Slippery ball, slippery pitch, but Thomas does well. And he's tackled by Cullen and George Mitchell. Lyon has his hands in the air, appealing for a penalty. And old London have got it. No, they haven't. The referee, Matty Lynn, has penalised London for dissent. Well, here's a chance for Cornwall. Ruslin just tips it onto Harry Boots and says to the Welshman, run at that London defence, run at that wall of red shirts. Collins, they switch it back into the middle. Here's Newbound again, who's been busy. Cornwall are loading up, they're lining up on this left-hand side. Will it go left? Yes, it does. Collins, Ruslin, short ball to Nathan Cullen. And that's a brilliant try from Cornwall. There was a massive hole in the Scholars' defence. Ruslin's little delayed short ball and Nathan Cullen back in the second row this afternoon went through to score the opening try for Cornwall. So here's Ruslin. Five minutes gone here at the New River Stadium and Cornwall already four points to the good. Ruslin, right footed. Runs up, he's hit that well, but oh, it's crashed off the upright. And the flag stay down. 4-0 Cornwall. Scholars will go. Aerial again, it's Ryan this time. And Ryan's after it, that's brilliantly held from Witten. Now then, Witten's off. Here he goes, Liam Witten, he's beaten one, beaten two. And he's pulled down. 20 metres away from the London Scholars line. Brilliant from Witten. Here's Mitchell again with another strong carry. Alex Derry and Sam Wellings in there making the tackle. Errol Carter now playing against his former club. Gets Cornwall to the 40 metre mark. That was a big impact by Boots, who's carried strongly in these opening exchanges. Ooh, Newbound juggles, Punchard dummies, and he's still going. And looks like Newbound's been injured there. He's down at the moment. Ruslin, oh, he's kicked ahead. Now then, George Mitchell's caught the ball. Brilliant from George Mitchell. It's the last tackle. Cornwall, five metres out. Ruslin, will he go on his own? He shows and goes. The ball's come out. Royd, some football skills. Oh, it just goes dead. Cornwall with good field position again after that high shot on Ashton. Ashton will tap the ball. Again, it's just left to 
Harry Boots to run the ball hard at this Scholars defence. Cornwall go right, but then Nathan Newbound straightens up. Cornwall eight metres away from the London line. Collins, Ruslin out to Ashton. Ashton steps back inside. Still going Tom Ashton. Tom Ashton has scored another try for Cornwall. We said he liked his ground. Three tries for Rochdale last year and another this afternoon for Cornwall. Ruslin missed his first conversion. He's got the ball on the tee in an almost identical position. He hit the woodwork after Cullen's try. See if he can go one better this time. That's more like it from Adam Ruslin. Straight between the uprights. Cornwall lead 10-0. London with a repeat set of six there. First examination of this Cornwall line. It's Derry in at dummy half. On to the returning Lion. Out to his half back partner Ryan. And London just two or three metres away from the Cornwall line. Here's Lloyd Jones back on the inside. He turns in the tackle. That's great defence by one, two, three, four men in yellow shirts. Here's Alex Derry. Tries to pinch one from dummy half. But he's held up. Jake Lloyd. Underneath him, Boots and Collins in there as well. Derry wants to get on with things quickly. His side trail 10-0, but the referee, Mr Lynn, says you've played the ball too quickly for my liking. After a spot of football skills from David Wheatman, London will go again. Here's Ryan again linking with Lyon. A little dab in behind by well, Yates and Ball. They got it in each other's way, really. And George Mitchell comes away, but he's got a foot in touch. The referee said. Here's Lloyd Jones with a good carry. So Callahan in at dummy half, and the ball will go skywards, and it's well gathered by Carter. Oh no, Carter's dropped it. Oh no, disaster for Errol Carter and Cornwall. And late ball picks up on the scraps and drops down out wide. This is a tricky touchline conversion from Bill Lyon. He's got the distance and the direction the flags go up. London. Trail by just four points on the last tackle. That's a high hanging kick from Jack Ryan. Now this will be a tester for George Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell's dealt with it superbly. Like a seasoned veteran who's always played on the wing. And Cornwall are on the front foot again. Jaden Barraclough taking the carry. He's on for Luke Collins. Sean Croston, or Croston just sits Ben Jansey down on his backside and he's still going. Legs are pumping from Sean Croston. It's three scholars defenders to haul him down. Cornwall got this short side. David Wheatman again punching holes in this London defence. On the last tackle, Punchard just goes to Ruslin. Ruslin dabs in behind. Oh, now then, Yates has fumbled. Ruslin with the football skills. One more. Can he touch down? No, he can't. But Yaya Baden has. I think Yaya Baden, with his first touch of the game, has scored for Cornwall, and he has football skills from Adam Ruslin. Finished off by Yaya Baden. And Cornwall have a third try. Well, Ruslin, who was at the heart of that try, the dab in behind, caught Jerome Yates. In two minds, bounced off his chest, led to the try and Ruslin converts. <laughs> Gollers have raced out of the traps in this second half. Two penalties and a repeat set. Croston comes flying out the line. There is a definition of a ball and all tackle. It's Tommy Porter at dummy half and Matt Ross there. Porter again. Scholars go out to this right-hand side, but that's good defence there from 
Cornwall, Ruslin and Jake Lloyd as well. They go to go up the short side, but back inside, great offload. Now then, Scholars will go to shift it to the other side. Here's Lloyd Jones, he just straightens up and tries to power his way over. Four or five Cornwall defenders in attendance. I hope so, there's a hint of a four pass there, but not given. Cornwall to force defend on their goal line. Ryan, the ball goes out, on the bounce, to ball again. I think ball's gone in at the corner. The touch judge says try, and so does the referee. Late the ball. This game, firmly and finally in the balance. Scholars have drawn first blood after the interval. The Cornwall dominated for large parts in that opening half. Three tries. Nathan Cullen, Tom Ashton and then Yian Badham. There is Yian Badham finds his twin brother Ewan. Both started on the bench this afternoon and Cornwall. Ruslin, short ball onto Kane Dimek. Dimek will play the ball 40 metres out. Barraclough fancies this one on his own, goes up the short side, makes good metres for Cornwall. It's Lloyd in at dummy half now. On to Ruslin. Ruslin back to Punchard. Punchard drops his shoulder. Dummies once, dummies twice. Dummies for a third time. Oh, brilliant hands there from Morgan Punchard. Finds Nathan Cullen. Cornwall keeping the ball alive brilliantly here. Barraclough who takes a tackle, Demek in at dummy half. Now Lloyd, now Ruslin. Cornwall look to go out wide. They've kind of stopped and Liam Whitten's forced to take the tackle and he does. Here's Ruslin. Ruslin fancies this one on his own. He spotted a gap there, but it's well shut down by Lloyd Jones. Barraclough now fancies one on his own. Wheatman, oh, he's held up. Oh no, he's not. He's got the ball down. Conversion. Stretch Cornwall's lead to 12 points, two converted tries. It's a real daylight between the two teams again. Ruslin <laughs> makes no mistake with that one as the flags go up. London trail by 12 points. I feel that the next score in this game is going to be pivotal. And the referee has just said to London, Take the ball back and play it. And it's the last tackle for the Scholars. It will be Lyon, he dummied and he goes towards Carter's wing again. Bristow's after it, but Carter does well this time. The ball ends up in touch. It's Harry Boots who was tackled there and Ruslin just dabs in behind. Oh, and Thomas, the Ball's gone between his legs. I don't think he touched it, but he's forced to play it out from far deeper in his half than he thought. And he's tackled nine metres away from his own line. And late ball in at dummy half. The man who scored two tries for London. Now then, London trying to break from inside their own half. And Croston, that's a brilliant tackle. London have bundled into touch. Corbyn will have the ball back. The wayside celebrate. So what looked like a, a good promising attacking position for London is now one for Cornwall after ball was bundled into touch and Cornwall will build down the short side with Kane to Mac, Luke Collins, dummy half, Ruslin onto Boots, Ruslin who's been brilliant this afternoon for Cornwall, really led the team around the park with maturity that belies his tender years of just 19 years of age. Now here's Cornwall, Croston finds Witten. Witten runs back inside again. Well, Witten seems to have been hit off the ball there from Wellings. And yes, the referee agrees. Wellings with the shoulder charge, or no arms tackle as the referee signifies. Cornwall sensibly taking the two points, hopefully taking the two points on offer. 
The referee just tells Adam Ruslin to take the ball back a couple of metres. The referee taking on some water from Sam Gilder. Adam Ruslin steps up straight between the uprights. You feel that one more try here as we approach the final 10 minutes will probably be enough for Cornwall and a historic first ever league double in just their second season. Here's Nathan Newbound. Newbound skips past one tackle, nearly skips past another. It's pulled down four metres out. And the Newbound tried to pinch an extra metre there, but the referee says take the ball back and play it. Collins is the dummy half, and we go up the Short side with Ruslin. Ruslin dances through. Has he got there? Oh, Adam Ruslin is just a metre short. Collins. Back it goes to Punchard and Witten. Dummies. And then he straightens up. But he's tackled by Lloyd Jones. And Lamont Bryant's in there as well. And the referee. And the referee's got his hand in his back pocket. Looks like Lamont Bryant. On his way to the sin bin for the second time this afternoon. That's a hand in the face there. It's new bound, great offload. Collins, Luke Collins. Strength from Collins. He looks like he's got the ball down and he has. He had a try to off against Hunslet, but this one counts. Luke Collins with his first try in Cornwall Colours. Another conversion from Bang in front. Great strength from Luke Collins. It's all action performances. He's deserved that try. And surely now, if this goes over, there'll be no way back for London. And it does go over. Another conversion from Adam Ruslin. Witten gingerly gets to his feet and plays the ball and Cornwall just need to keep hold of the ball and complete their sets of six and that's a good powerful carry from Carter and there's hands all over Carter's face Ruslin, and again, it's Dan Bristow involved. There's no need for that, and now Carter's got himself involved. And both sets of players run in, but Dan Bristow twice had hands on corner players' faces. Firstly, Carter, and then Ruslin, and Carter took exception to that. Oh, now Whitten's getting involved as well, and Wheatman's playing Peacemaker along with Jake Lloyd. Jerome Yates now. Oh, frustrations are really boiling over here for Scholars. What is Jerome Yates doing getting himself involved? We must only be seconds away from the final siren. And here's O'Callaghan out to Ryan. Ryan will kick to the corner and Derry touches down, but it's nothing more than a consolation. Take nothing away from the Cornwall performance. They have triumphed here in London by 30 points to 14.